The Eagles of Death Metal have returned to the Bataclan Concert Hall in Paris for the first time since their performance less than a month ago when gunmen stormed the building and killed 89 people watching their show. Uh, Jose, the band spent about 10 minutes outside of the theater. They laid flowers. Um, they, they took a little time to read some tributes that they had written to those fans that had been mm -hmm. killed during the attacks. Um, it was raining heavily. There was a lot of television crews. There was a lot of media there waiting for them um, because there was actually a lot of people knew they were going to be there because there were some rumors going around that they were going to come and play with uh, alongside U2. So they were ready for it. But, you know, I, I, I like to see this kinds of thing, and it's, it's probably extremely hard for them to be there, probably very emotional you could tell by some of the pictures um, but you know here they are making a statement saying you can't stop us we're back here we are I think this this is a great example of what the citizenship of France and all around the world needs to do in this moment where we are facing the threat of terrorism terrorism thrives out of fear they want us to be afraid of doing the things that we love that is why they chose Paris because people there are not only the most diverse uh, tourism city in the world, but at the same time, many of the things that we are proud of as democratic societies come from France. The freedom to enjoy ourselves. So the fact that this band is going back to this place, not only paying the respect to the, to the fans that died in the attack, but also going on the stage and showing the world that life goes on and that the terrorists won't stop us from doing what we love, I think it's critical. It's a very important message for the world to hear. Right, so um, just a few days after uh, the terrible attacks in Paris, U2 was scheduled to have a concert, um, not at the Bataclan, but nearby, but because of the state of emergency, they had to cancel it, Jose. Um, and actually, uh, just the other day, was uh, the rescheduling of those concerts. So U2 played, um, the Eagles of Death Metal went, paid their respects at the Bataclan Theater, and then just went a few miles down to the Accord Hotels Arena, where they played a show. They came on stage with U2, they played alongside U2, and then U2 actually got off the stage and the last song of the U2 concert was actually just the Eagles of Death Metal and they let them play their song I Love You All The Time um, a song which they wrote after the attacks and they're saying that all the proceeds that they make from that song are going to go to the victims of the attacks so that's a very cool move too. I love it they, 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 they were very outspoken that they really wanted to go back to the Bataclan as soon as it opened show the world and show the terrorists that they that it takes more to turn, to, to turn off the light of hope around the world. I, I'm very proud of these guys. This is not easy. What they went through, it, it's enough to put people out of, of circulation, to don't have anything, don't want to have anything to do with rock or being on a stage anymore. Instead, they're showing the right attitude against terrorism. Right, and, and they've actually come out and said, you know, when the Bataclan Theater opens back up, the Eagles of Death Metal said they want to be the first band to play. Yeah. Uh, again, an act of defiance. So here we see the Eagles of Death Metal back in Paris paying their tributes, but um, I think it means much more than that. And it's, it's really a statement to those people who want to cause harm all around the world.